Hello everybody and welcome back to Coronavirus Corner. Tonight it was Matt Hancock's turn to give the nation an update on how we're getting on with the virus. Apparently he's got dyslexia so I think he did a wonderful job of reading out all those figures. It must be a strain especially when the news is not good. I thought he did very well. He said this Easter would be a test of the nation's resolve. Well, it always is, isn't it? Every year I say I won't eat too much chocolate and I always do. He also said that a front door is better than any face mask. I do hope Maureen doesn't get the wrong end of that stick. It was bad enough when she found out the Andrex puppy she'd ordered was only a stuffed toy. She sobbed her heart out. Oh, Edna, I got him a collar and lead and everything. Anyway, I digress. Matt Hancock reminded us that every person must play their part. And I'm sure we all want to do our best to help. There are people climbing Everest in their own homes and running marathons round tiny little gardens. I'm not sure how it helps but at least they're giving it a go. Boris Johnson knocked today's 900 plus deaths off the headlines by waving to staff as he left intensive care. I bet he's thanking his lucky stars he hadn't sold the NHS to Donald Trump before he went into hospital. Nobody wants to be given experimental paraquat or whatever it is. I was very surprised to glance out of the window today and see the Good Friday procession. Well, just one person, but still. It usually goes past mine, but I had assumed with the current crisis it wouldn't be happening. Well, give him his due. There was the vicar, carrying the cross, which is very heavy and usually a two-person job. It didn't seem very respectful tying the other end to a skateboard. But I suppose he was trying his best and it wouldn't have looked good if he'd dropped it. Although there was a dodgy moment when it seemed to develop a mind of its own and almost propelled him under a passing police car. Anyway, it was lovely of him to give it a go. But I'm glad he didn't sing. I'm quite musical. I'll never forget opening the door to the vicar belting out Silent Night, slightly out of tune a whiff of brandy on his breath. Today's sensible tip is take a moment to celebrate what you are doing to help. Look in the mirror, pat yourself on the back and say well done and resolve to keep going. We can do it. That's it for now. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.